What's up, my man? Oh, how are good. you? Good, good, good. Good to see you. Hi, puppy. Hi, yeah. good to meet you. Good nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so uh, vlog here with Shoda and What's Chef up? Justin Lee. Chef Justin Lee. Yeah. We just met, and we're at a, a high school, and you there's missed, like a cooking thing going on, right? You missed Dodger, by the way. Missed Dodger. Yeah, I'm sorry. I always got to introduce Dodger. <laughs> yeah, what, what's what's going on here? Yeah. So should we probably not be back lit? There we go. Yeah. So we. Uh, so I'm actually the coach of the Newport High School Culinary Team, team and I brought these two awesome chefs to help guest judge. Okay. Today, these guys are representing Washington and they are off to nationals next week. That's rad. Compete. That's rad. Yeah. Man. Okay, cool. So, yeah, super excited. To have I you can't guys. wait to see what they do. That's awesome. Yeah. It's flaky salt guy, like, <laughs> yeah. salt guy dude. <laughs> Yo, so oh man, I should have brought some salt. Oh, that's Damn true. It. Okay, next time. Yeah. So, how does, this, how does this work? They have like a, like a kitchen in their well. school? or yeah, so, uh, How long have they had cooking classes in school, though? I never had that. Wow, hey, where should I leave Dodge? I feel like Dodge is fine now. Is he? Yeah. I don't know. I feel is like he's okay fine. To put, can you leave him in the corner over there? Hello, Hello everybody. Hi. How y'all doing? Hi. Hi, friends. Hi. How y'all doing? Is this like a mystery box challenge? What's going it's on? No, we've actually been practicing the same menu for three months. This is the same. Yeah. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions, really. You know, I do a lot of competition. What do you do, Shoda? <laughs> what do I do? Um, so I've been working in restaurants since I was 15. I had two full-time jobs. I was working 80 hours from 15 to 18. Um, at 18, I had the big dream to go work in a Michelin star restaurant. So I moved to Japan, went to go train under Chef Sakamoto for five and a half years. Uh, came back at 23, opened my first restaurant at 25. Um, operated that for six years and then closed with the pandemic, unfortunately. And now I have two bar slash kind of like a bar slash pizza spot in two different spots in the same building uh, in Capitol Hill. Um, shoot, I guess I've been working in restaurants since I was in high school, uh, probably junior in high school, then worked my way to culinary school. I don't know if y'all are doing that. I suggest you just work in restaurants first, see how you like it. Worked in restaurants in San Antonio, Austin, South Texas, the whole thing, and then came to Seattle, did pop-ups all around the country, like New York, LA, Napa, Worked with chefs like Marcus Samuelson and you know just all these fun people, Shoda. And now I don't work in restaurants anymore. I just do a whole other field, which is just cooking videos on the internet. There's like many branches to this. So you don't have to specifically work in a restaurant. You could, I've seen people that just survive off of like a cooking blog. So it really depends on what your strong suit is and what you want to do with this. And also, you know, like one thing I learned from Matt is, you know, being in the restaurant business, it gets harder and harder at oh, yeah. times. So with fluctuation, all this stuff, and, you know, I place myself learning from people like Matt that I need to be in the food business. Still staying in food, but there's a lot of revenue streams to make sure that I can pay a living wage for, you know, chefs and salaries. Mm -hmm. You guys excited? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a lot to do with two burners in an hour. Seriously. You guys start. All right, what we got going on here, Chef? I'm making the, the butter to poach the hollandaise. What we got going on here? Uh, I'm testing as you sing oranges for the hollandaise and boost. Right on. And then I've got uh, oranges that I supremed here that are carbonated. Are carbonating. How many charges in that? Uh, there's going to be three charges in there. Three charges? One orange. Right on. Is it carbonating? Yeah, the supremes. What do we have here, Chef? We have a lemon curd that's going to be Right here. That's silicone bonbon molds. Six minutes west, good work. Nice, yeah, behind. All right, chef, what's going on here? What's next? They have a lot of stuff working right now. Well, Wesley's over there remaking the component because it's not right. Oh, why isn't it right? It's not right because he didn't, when he went to uh, pull all the oxygen out of that container, did not aerate the chocolate, which I think there's a leak in that one. We got a new one ordered though. So. Got you. Six minutes. You guys got time. Make sure the plating is <laughs> stunning. Is it going to work out, Dodger? Is it going to work, puppy? 24, 23, 23. Table's empty. 21, 30. Three, ready? two, ready? one. Hey, man. Plates, take them. Great job, guys. Show it to him the correct one way. One of their plates goes to... Uh, just a viewing area. Let's go. Judges place. Yeah. Dodger, we're not clapping for you. <laughs> area, like show the other ones to judges. And they're judged, dessert judged, only judges desserts, entree desserts. Prepared wild Northwest mushrooms, pan seared scallop, 
carbonated car car oranges, crispy kale leaf, a rye lattice, and a citrus hollandaise. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, seriously, great job. This is awesome. Very impressive. After they taste, we'll do a critique, and you guys can give your thoughts. So we. Oui. Have a All right, so what do we think so far, dude? <laughs> this is impressive. It's this really is, impressive. Yeah. These are high school students. Seriously. This is crazy. And they did this all in one hour with two butanes. For you remember real, that. yeah. Separately. Scallops cook good. Yeah, I don't see any on that one either. Yeah, I only had to get one. I think they might have gotten more sauce. Yeah, definitely. Or more punch. If that makes sense. It's like not enough sauce. But like more acid in the sauce itself if it's going to be citrus. I think the scallop is salted nice though. The shroom is scored very nicely. And yeah, I've scored a lot of these fucking shrooms. Yeah. That's like very meticulous. Uh, so we tried the scallop, now we're gonna try their steak dish here. Steak cooks stunningly. Dude, yeah, that's really nice. All right, get into it. We So. Hey, this has got a nice pop. Yeah. Has a nice pop. This is the championship we should have with this. Yeah. 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 Personally. That's great. That's what I'm saying. That's it great. has enough acid. Yeah. I think with salad, though, I have more acid. The salad has, like, none. Mm. The on the it's, nice. it's got nice. Yeah, it's not, like, yeah. cooked as shit or anything. Yeah. Nice sweetness that adds to it. So definitely in both dishes, maybe this is the trend. I think they just need to use more acid and everything. But like, dude, the panisas cook good. Steaks yeah. cook good. Like they're cooking everything good. Everything's yeah. cooked great. It's just like down to seasoning now. I think this, they should have more of this. Yeah. What's next? I think dessert. All right. Let's see, it says here. Dessert, lemon curd, marscapone chantilly, macerated blackberry, hazelnut crumb, cinnamon fritter. All right. That's the aerated chocolate, it looks like. Don't trust the airline. That's last time when they broke my cooler. Do you guys have any leftover hollandaise? Uh, no. No. We, we, we make it, like, pretty much exactly how much. Wait, that's a hollandaise? Yeah. That's hella loose. It might, it might even be broken. Or something. I think it's the liquid that, from all the potatoes and everything. I mean, to me, that doesn't look like a hollandaise. <laughs> yeah. That's like... Dude, this is fucking good. Appetizer, man. Um, pros, I think the scallop is beautiful, beautifully cooked. Super well seasoned. The right amount of salt. Um, the one thing I do want is that acid pop, especially if it's explained that it's a... What, was kind, what kind of hollandaise is it? Citrus. Citrus hollandaise. Mm -hmm. For me, I wanted a little bit more of the hollandaise as well as more citric in it, just okay. because there's a lot of butter, it's rich. So the scallops, the mushroom, and everything kind of comes out flat, but one one extra punch in that, I mean, I would add just citric into it personally, then more like lemon juice or anything into it, but I think that would make it pop quite a bit. Okay, mm -hmm. like citric acid or? Yeah, citric okay. acid. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, for me, everything was cooked perfectly. Like really, even the beets, like they had a good bite to it. Everything, like nothing was cooked to shit. So that's, that was very impressive. It just t comes down to seasoning. That's, that's literally it. So that's think, very mm, easy for you guys to tweak. I think same thing. This yeah. just like adding a little bit of lemon juice on the salad. And yeah, y'all are welcome anytime to come make videos with me. Or if you guys <laughs> want to connect anywhere in the country, like, let me know. Yeah. I love it, dude. Honestly, it's good. I think the dessert's yeah. the one that I can't say the most. Just And then also to add on to the call out thing, just to be like more concise with it, I prefer instead of just like a herd or a yes chef to like add on, like say I call out a medium rare salmon, I want to hear medium, medium rare, rare salmon, salmon herd, you know, like just yeah. so I know you heard it correct. That's, yeah. Like that's another thing. 10 that minutes, that. Yeah, 10 minutes yeah. heard. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But teamwork's great. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun with it. It's fun. Yeah.
Yeah, y'all have done this 80 something times, right? Something like that. Yeah, just fly with it. Yeah, and be yeah. confident. This is, yeah. like I said, stunning and, and very impressive for what you guys like, executed in a short period of time. Awesome. Thank you. Very impressive, Chef. Very well done teaching these kids, man. Yeah. We should definitely come uh, help out next year or whatever the next one is because, like, that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Here at the Burger Master. He's going to do a Burger Master, he's saying? Okay. Lettuce, tomato, cheese, seagrass sauce, pickles, onions, if you yes, like. Yes, please. Awesome. And Damn. Thank All you, right. sir. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. All right, dude. Look burger at that. Master snack time. time. Love the red. So good. That's dude. my favorite. Yeah, and then Burger Master second for me. Yeah, same. Loretta's is my top. Yeah, so good. Boom boom sauce, by the way, chef. That's where it's at. I know. They give us so much fries. Yeah, they did. It's like a spicy chili. Oh, good. Yeah. Damn, we need to go to Loretta's sometime then. Yeah in a minute just you don't I don't really go there besides I mean, yeah. that's fun. my spot is it yeah yeah we got to go get these noodles I always go get too 